past few years, I've talked to folks all across America, in their communities and at their kitchen tables. They often tell me, back in 2020, they were down. They lost their business. How many did you know somebody worked at Carrier, another facility, and a whole generation that worked there? And you're sitting there as a parent, and your mom and the kid that comes home, well-educated, says, I can't live here anymore. There's no job for me. I got to move. I got to move. They lost faith. Syracuse is a good example. For decades, decades, it was a manufacturing boom town full of good-paying jobs and a solid path to the middle class. I know. I lived here. I went to law school here. I married a wonderful woman from Lake Skinny Atlas who I came. That's why I came to Syracuse Law School. I felt it. But over the years, trickle-down economics swept it all away. Under my predecessor, manufacturers left. Factories like BCS Automotive over in Auburn, where her family lived, shut down. 22,000 local jobs disappeared in the Syracuse region. That's the story seen in community after community nationwide. Hollowed out, robbed of hope, but not on my watch, thanks to investing we're making in America and the partnerships we formed. America Manufacturing is back. New factories are going up all across the country. And communities like Syracuse are writing a great American comeback story. That's what it is, a comeback story, creating new jobs, new businesses, and new hope. Today, folks, when folks see shovels in the ground in these projects, people going back to work, hope they feel the pride that I feel, pride in their hometowns making a comeback, pride in America, pride in knowing we can get big things done when we work together. That's why I've never been more optimistic about this nation's future. We just have to remember who we are, for God's sake. We're the United States of America, and there's nothing, nothing, nothing beyond our capacity to get done when we work together. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. This is a big deal day. Congratulations, Syracuse. Congratulations. Thank you.